Hello, Bozicles! My name is Hotzesty and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, also, I mean, we have been working on several fronts, but I think we should maybe focus getting this side done so we can complete solar uh, power on this side and then really start thinking about our uh, rocket missions. So uh, let's uh, do this one then, uh, get the doors uh, there first and when we uh, add the, uh, when we add the, the, the solar panels, uh, that's what we want to add, uh, then uh, we also need additional battery power and here we will place a bridge here so that the water actually goes in on this side. That should provide better cooling here on this side because here water is 36 degrees. Uh, here on this side where we are pumping it out it is already below 30 degrees. So and if we are here above 30 degrees, uh, the uh, iron is not cooled down enough, so we would ship it out. So, yeah. But apparently, we are still cooling the, the water down. Um, because it's still above 20 degrees. So we do have a bit of temperature margin between this sensor and that one, which is definitely a, a good thing. But let's see if they manage to do something up here. Not sure. Yeah, but they're on it. Okay, it, it looks like uh, something is um, is being done. Looks like we are currently lacking iron because we are unable to uh, to cool it down. So basically, what we need is have this bridge in place to have better cooling. That should help the whole situation. Now, yeah, let's see. Water temperature is already dropping. And this in turn means the iron temperature on the rail is dropping as well, as you can see there. However, it cannot drop below the temperature of the of the water, uh, so that the water that's coming in is uh, 14 degrees, but it mixes with the other water around. So that's basically why we have then higher temperatures. But they're going down. They are around 30 now, and the iron. Uh, it is getting cooled down, and we can also see here that the iron is mostly around uh, 30 degree, and there we have two more pieces of iron shipped out. 
Another two. Another two. Nice. That's how it should work. And there now we have more because uh, uh, a lot of the iron has already cooled down beforehand. So uh, that's that's how it should be. Cool. Uh, we'll take this one and uh, have a bit of a, a barbecue out of it. Um, then let's have a look up here. Telescope is idle. Um, ice giant. Let's look at that one. Okay. Um, here we need to go to there. Then isolated pipe up here and actually we do not need this one anymore and we can plan out the remainder of our robo miners now one two three four five six one two three four five six That's a perfect match. one probably yeah on this we have a bit of power to spare so we will see if um, uh, we need to to power the last few doors from from this line but it should Okay, so what we will do up here is we will have a door here and then we'll have something like that going down to here. Then let's prioritize this part. Okay, now let's see. Okay, potential load that's working out fine. That's working out fine. Is 
basically we can have this all the way to over here and dig this out and also three below here also demolish this I said in the in the last episode these last uh, doors for our uh, rocket silo will not be controlled by the same mechanism as the bunker doors over here so let's place a wire there or a switch there and have it that way because um, we need to be able to open and close the bunker doors when a rocket is going out or a rocket going in and at least the incoming uh, that might happen during a meteor storm. So we could also uh, use space scanners to detect incoming rockets um, but seeing that space scanners uh, require a bit of uh, uh, free space where we cannot place uh, uh, solar panels I tend to use the uh, manual setup and every uh, once in a while I forget to open the doors when the rocket comes back, which means, uh, okay, rockets are being demolished. Uh, no, not the rocket, the, the bunker doors, and they have to be uh, replaced. Okay, we probably should also up the priority on, on this one. But they are built. Um, then have a look down here. Nothing really going on. The wire is now empty. The volcano is not yet dormant. The water temperature is below 30 degrees, so hopefully, um, water coming in. Um, or iron coming in will cool down enough while snaking its way through here so it can go out then directly however here on this side that's a bit of a, of a different metal maybe we have to to tweak that so we uh, put this iron that we still have down here and uh, push it through uh, our new system because the water down there is just uh, becoming too warm in the meantime. So how are we looking here? Okay, now we can do a bit of this. Not 
again because we are missing the uh, airflow tile. Same problem here. Currently missing gold amalgam. Okay, now we have the uh, airflow tile in place. And basically I think the the loop here around is complete. We only have to break the bridge and then it flows all the way through here. Well, not completely built, but uh, completely set up. to completion over here. Sounds incredibly loud. But eventually it will pass. These meteorite storms. Will not last for Okay, and they're already over. Okay, virus being built, the last pieces here are being built. Uh, 
and apparently the next meteor shower is at hand. But all the everything is now in place. So let's make sure we get the wiring up here as well. Nice, that was the last one. And let's break this bridge here. Okay, now weird things are starting to happen. itself okay that's all the wiring here on top so we are good and then can place sonar panels down below and of course start digging out the uh, rocket uh, silo over here Apparently, oh, oh, not yet complete. Um, we are already again out of uh, slime. We have lined up something here to dig out, but uh, for that, oh, that's. Maybe problem trying to build that out of mafic rock when we can use oh, no. let's not use obsidian right let's use something more common That will work. doing here water temperatures 23 degrees um, and let's see how we can turn this around um, and break this up Once this, uh, the water is cool enough so that uh, the aqua tuner is no longer uh, working, then we can uh, start pumping in more water from below. Okay, so. That should pick up all the uh, iron that's still lying down here. Still, still a ton. And let's see if this uh, just goes through here, and if the uh, the water is enough to to cool it down. So far, it's it's working. And 
that's the last one. So we do not need this anymore. Uh, maybe let's construct this piece by piece. Uh, there might be... Yep. Yeah, see, the, the, the pipe is right behind there. Um, so, let's construct, deconstruct everything here. Then, this one, sensor, and the Alright, that was all the iron that we have there. But it should be stored up here in this storage bin. And of course here we have a bit of iron in here. Uh, but we are lacking once again uh, the, the lime. Right? So maybe we have actually run out of uh, of maybe rock. Let's see. Oh. We can for sure use this one and then we shall have the next solar panel here okay and there is a shovel egg how are they incubation almost done so let's not set up the uh, the the storage bin there to collect the uh, the eggs but let's wait for the eggs that are in there to, uh, to hatch and then we try to uh, move the one from here And you will probably dig yourself in. I have a feeling. Oh no, you managed to get out. Let's have a look in here. Hmm. Let's take the, the, the steel. We need quite a bit of steel. And then end this episode. It's been 
bit longer but the last one was a bit shorter so there you go hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time for more progress in the uh, direction of our rocket see you then goodbye